It is a growing trend. It's a sad growing trend. People over 50 are twice as likely to go through a divorce today than 30 years ago, according to researchers at Bowling Green State University in Ohio. And these gray divorces, as I guess we'll call them, have a large impact on your retirement plans. Diana Isaac from the Shulman Law Firm joins us right now, uh, specializing in family law, to talk about this. And it's sad, but there is a lot of money. You've worked your whole life to, to decide what you're going to do after 50 and you need the money there. So let's talk about some of the challenges that people are facing. Thanks for having me here. I think this is a very fascinating topic. There was an interesting uh, statistic released by the Canadian Institute for Health Information whereby they've indicated that the Canadian senior population is expected to grow by 68% in the next 20 years, which does give a lot of context to this growing trend in what we call grey divorces. And some of the challenges that you've indicated include the matrimonial home. In many cases, this is the largest asset that's subject to division. And which you're hoping to use for your retirement. Absolutely. So what do you need to know about that? Well, the thing is, when, we're, when we have individuals that are retired, typically they're mortgage free. But when you are separating and you're dealing with a divorce, it's subject to division. So what happens is either the parties have to agree to do a buyout, one buys out the interest of the others, match of the matrimony home, or you have to sell the home, in which case you're put in a predicament where you have to refinance the mortgage, and at some times they're even downsizing. So from being mortgage free, you now are incurring debt. And it, it, sometimes when you're going into a, a smaller home, it's a significant departure from the lifestyle you're used to. So it can be quite frustrating and uh, a very daunting situation for retired divorcees. Uh, and, and you're putting a lot of money into RSPs, you're putting money into, into plans you may have at work uh, as well. So where does, uh, how can you look at this money? It, it, it is money that has, it, that's not ready for you to take yet. Right. So who gets what? Right. So and that, that's another challenge they face because what happens is these retired divorcees have a fixed income and have basically fixed assets. Unlike younger couples that are able to probably work and earn a higher income, they're at a point where we have the divorcing retirees that are dipping into their nest egg fund, the retirement fund. And from having a single retirement, now we're looking at two separate retirements. So there's an issue when you're divi dividing all these assets. So who get I me? Mean, and you're going to get penalized as well because you're obviously going to want to. Is is there a way you can leave it there until you both do retire? There are different ways, and that's why we do suggest that you should be retaining a financial advisor in advance because at some point you want to find what's tax effective in order to preserve as much of your retirement funds as you can. Do people ever come to you to plan for a divorce, not planning to get divorced? I know that sounds weird, but it's sort of like, you know what, we're pretty sure we're not going to get divorced, but, you know, just in case, how do we, how do we protect ourselves financially? Well, that's a great question. I mean, I recommend as a lawyer that you consider getting a marriage contract in situations where you have large assets, and especially when you're retired, you'd like to protect this retirement nest egg. And also, it does alleviate the amount of stress that comes with a marital bre breakdown because a marriage contract does contemplate how to divide property and how to deal with support if you've included that of course in your contract. But that's a tough thing to do to say to someone listen we're getting married forever but just in case can you sign this prenup please? It is difficult and most of the time young couples that get married don't expect to get divorced and especially I have clients that are retired that don't expect to be divorcing while they're retired. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Uh, at Shulman Law Firm, Diane Isaac, thank you very much. Thank you.